Devon, say something. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can hear you. Liz! Hi, how are you? How you doing, beautiful? I'm great. Oh, I love your earrings, too. Damn! No, I'm not, I'm not playing. Fuck, Devon! I'm not playing. Oh, you got the dangles? Yeah, you got the dangles. Y'all feeling up? Y'all feeling up? Oh, no. It's the... That's some hot boy shit. Oh, it's the... <laughs> Oh, hey, man, he would, I'm not playing. Yeah, he won't. Oh, man, he, he, he got a celestial headband. Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's too woke. I'm with it. He's and the glasses. Yeah. Okay, you gotta get hey. some tips to Kevin. Cause... Nah, my guy be fly, man. Kevin wow. fly. Wow. Kevin wow. fly. Wow. Kevin wow. I'm kidding, baby. Yeah, disrespect. Oh, thank you, thank you, Annie. Liz, yeah. I think about your French toast at least once a week. Do you? At least once a week. We'll never see you again so that you can have it again. I'm definitely, I'll, it'll definitely be 2023. I've been looking at my, I'll be using some vacation time to come out there and kick okay. it with y'all. Yeah, so, I was sad you weren't going to, you're not going to be in Vegas. I know. A lot going on, but you know, work. I heard you and, got a, a new job. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It's cool. It's, you know, it is what it is. It, yeah. it's, Face bills, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Not end up. I'm trying to take. I'm trying to take over the world. So, I mean, I'll take that place over eventually. Yeah. Start somewhere. Do you know? What you gotta do. Yeah. Okay. But are you got a new? Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! Don't leave so fast. Wait, you day. I haven't seen you in like forever. I gotta, I gotta get it. I gotta soak it in. You know what I'm saying? I don't get this enough. I need, I need that. I need all that. It's Kevin's fault. Blame him. That's all good. He, 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 he that's my guy though. I can never blame him for anything. Appreciate that. The seven something blow up, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> so he could blame you for something. <laughs> <laughs> no. But uh, no, it's good to see you, girl. The Midwestern job. Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. Oh, <laughs> no, because of that. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, he at least a suspect. At least a suspect. I ain't saying he did. That one went over my head. <laughs> Uh, At least a suspect. Oh, no, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no, it's always great to see you. Puts a smile, puts a smile on my face. Oh, thank you. Okay. What the? Oh, you what the, what the nails look like? You got your nails done? All right. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have my nails done. They weren't supposed to be this though. They were supposed to be a bit more intricate, but I went to a new nail lady for a lot of different reasons that I'm not gonna go into. Um, okay. And she couldn't do shit. Okay. I was pissed. But what was worse is they were so nice about it. So I was like, I can't even really be mad at you <laughs> because you're trying your you best. What. And I'll everybody is so like thankful for my business. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to the customer service. Yeah, great customer service, so. Hey. You know, it is what it is. Four. My toes look good, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, you're hilarious. Okay. I'm going to inch out of here. Oh. All right. Um, yes. Sure. And you're... Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, Devon. Bye, Liz. Yes, you got My guy. You look good too, man. You're looking good. Uh, what good shade of yellow you are right now. You know what I'm saying? For that's a good light skin. You gotta stay hydrated. Oh yeah, for sure. My friend, with mine. Stay hydrated. <laughs> yes, sir. You gotta, gotta keep that water in your system. Water, man. You got some in it. A lot of cucumber salads. Oh, okay. It's showing, man. Your skin, your skin is popping. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, man, you know, day by day, this is my It's 229 today. So it's the same moment. Okay. Okay. I'm still strong. Yeah, I'm getting strong. I'm actually getting pretty strong, man. I was in the gym. Not today, my back was a little weaker than expected, but I was in there doing chest uh, last week. I was like, man, this is no light. Okay. Uh, hey. Okay. Pick this up a little bit, man. Hey. 
Yeah. I fuck with that, man. He was always a strong motherfucker, so you once you get back in that rhythm, it's, it's gonna be... Yeah, you know that muscle memory. Muscle mm-hmm. memory. Uh, oh shoot! You got something? I ain't really bringing nothing, man. No. I mean, I always got something, week, man. I, uh, this week, man. This week already been crazy, man. I've been, I've been so busy, man. Work been crazy. Uh, work, work has been nothing. You got that? Well, hey, man. I want to officially congratulate you on that new title. Man. Oh, pr- appreciate you, guys. You hey, know? man. I was, I was reading the, I was reading the write up, man. I was like, ooh, I was like, Kev been working. He, yeah, all right, yeah it's, it's, uh, it was crazy how they did it too. It was like on a, like a, a call, team call. I didn't even know. And uh, and then the slide just popped up. I was like, oh, they oh. made my block hot. And, uh, told <laughs> on the spot? Yeah. On so, the spot? So, like, a lot of, yeah, so a lot of people. They hit yeah, you with that, uh, like, like, like at the re- yeah, they hit you like one of them restaurants when they, they get hit you with the, ha- the surprise happy birthday. Then you just yeah, just like basically. Eat. Basically, I, I think I think they feel my uh, my ready to leave energy because they've been paying me a lot of attention to work. I was just telling telling Elias that that uh, yeah, man, they've been uh, been having a lot of meetings with like leadership and stuff, and talking about next steps. They're trying to have one on one and see what they can do to help me take that next step. And I'm like, yeah, y'all not gonna pay me enough, so. Wherever wherever y'all try to send me, it's not gonna be what I want. So I'm gonna just learn what I can from them. You know, mm-hmm. play the game. Hey, play man. the game. ACP is soon to be CPA, man. You want to, like you said, once that's, you get to CPA, oh, it's really gonna be acting different. Oh, I'm acting real different. different. It's gonna take a minute, but I'm acting real different when I get that. I'm at, I'm at real different. The price gonna go up for sure. When I get that. <laughs> Yeah, the price already done, but when I get that, man, they gonna have to put some respect on my name a little bit. Yeah. yeah man. Well, either way, man, I want to tell you, man, I'm proud of you, man. Hey, Real appreciate talk, you. man. You, you, my guy, appreciate man. You. So appreciate you, appreciate yeah, you, man. man. And like, speaking of proud, man, I, I like. I was thinking about that video you sent me uh, a couple weeks ago about that dude when he's talking about like he never heard his dad say he's proud of him. Yeah, which yep. is it's crazy to me, man, because you know I, you know Grayson started uh, you know at his first you know leaving school now, you know so um, his first yeah. I don't know if it was a first or me, second. You saw him, you sent me the thing and it said he wanted to be a vet, right? You know, you know that kid. That's what that was. That's what it was that day. You know, so that's what it was that day. I've never but, thought that in my life. He, <laughs> he has never. Oh, yeah, that's, this, that's his, never his bag is deep. His, yeah, his I bag mean, is no, deep. I, I would say stuff like architect, uh, football player. That's all I remember everyone to be. Hey and, man, and I can tell that the boy got a he got a kind spirit about him. Man, he got a. He, he gonna be a nice dude, man, and I know that y'all doing a good job for the man. Well, he's he just a smart kid, just, man, and I just got the love in his life. Yeah, man, I, and that's the thing, man. I try to tell him, like bringing that up, man, because I try, I tell him I'm proud of him every day, man. Just because you, as an adult, man, you know how hard it is to just exist as yourself in the world, man. And so when you see kids just genuinely being themselves. He's like, man, you just proud of it. Like, I'm just proud. So yeah. I'm like, I'm proud of you. And he's like, for what? I'm like, man, just being Grayson. Yeah. It's like, yeah, man, so that's, that's important. That, that's yeah. important, man. We got to do that with our kids more, you know, just give them that feeling that, that they belong and, and, they, and they're worthy and then they can be whatever they want to be and then they're powerful. Uh, we, we don't do that enough, you know, speak no. life into them. So, for sure. Yeah, you, 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 I can see it, man. Anytime I interact with Grayson, man, he just. Uh, he just uh his energy he got a real common energy about him and uh, he just spirit it just seemed like he gonna be a real kind kind kid man and yeah, the fact he even like animals enough to say he want to be a vet that i was like man that kind of makes sense from when i, when I talk to him man because he he's just caring, seemed like man. he seemed like a caring and a little you know i always say about well, you you be you be knowing you know when they was kids yeah. you look back you be knowing it he uh yeah he, he gonna be a good dude, man. He off to a good start. 
Yeah, and it's but cool. even more, yeah, and even more importantly about that, man, I just like the way he thinks, man. I and I hope, and that's the part I like to keep alive the most, man. It's just his whole thought process and the way he breaks shit down, like, and the way he looks at, and, and like, so like that's I think that second day, uh, it was like a little incident, man, where he, <laughs> well, it wasn't really an incident, but I guess he was like in the lunchroom and he went to use the bathroom, and they couldn't find him. For him. Uh, Second day of school, we didn't got lost. Like, hey, well, he, here's the thing: he didn't get that, lost. That, this is what makes that, him. He was lost. Break- That's me. That's me all day. <laughs> it wasn't even. It didn't go that far. Man, I just told my mom probably about a year ago uh, how I got left at the zoo. And my, and my, uh, I think uh, my second. Uh, like third grade field trip. We probably could have. We probably could have sued the school. I, I legit got left. You, you got, got left at, at the, the zoo. They left me at the zoo. You know how you, you know how you line up at the bus when you about to leave, and then they count heads. Yeah. So they counted heads. As soon as she counted heads, I was like, Man, I want to see the monkeys one more time. <laughs> <laughs> one more look. I just need one more look. One more time with the monkeys. <laughs> and I went to go see the monkeys, and I came back. They was gone. And, and so I just sat on the bench, like by where the buses was. And probably like 30, 45 minutes later, they pulled back up. She, the teacher, Miss Franklin, rushed off the bus looking distraught. Oh, bro, she was sick. She she was sick. She, was she probably sick. saw her whole career flat before her eyes. Oh, bro, it was over. It was over. She was thinking about, like, I gotta get with this uh, teacher. Uh, yeah, I was about to get a black teacher. That's like my one black teacher ever. I was about to get her fired. That's about to be a rap for her. Oh, she was black too? Oh, yeah. yeah. She was to be gone, bro. She was all. Oh, it was over. She might have to move out of the state. They might try to slap her with a charge. Oh, yeah, and says she has something to do with it. What you been reading these days, man? I know you, I know you got your head in something, man. Something, something, something drunk. You know, I know that how that brain works. Honestly, man, I ain't been doing too too much reading besides just trying to keep up with the news and, and work, the man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, trying to trying to swing trade from time to time. Um, not nothing too crazy. Still reading um, Philip and Alexander. Still in the middle of that. Uh, yeah, the one joint I told you about, I'll read that on, on rough days. It's usually I can find a passage stick to give me a little strength and fortitude, uh, the warrior of light. That's, uh, that, that's been a recurring go-to for me for a minute. So a few audio books, audios, but nothing, nothing new on the audio side. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I actually been going through that library. I mean, right now I've been reading, I've restarted, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People, man, just because I've been dealing with people a lot and just trying to keep some of them principles, um, in the habit. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, and that's, I mean, that's just read one of my favorite books since I read that bitch the first time. Um, uh, yeah, the three the three audio books I keep in heavy rotation is um like uh when I when I'm tired but I don't wanna watch TV and I'm on my mother's just lay down. I listen to the uh, forty eight laws of power. Um usually when I'm studying, uh like when I'm like playing a game or something, I put on uh, one up on Wall Street and uh like in the shower. In the shower, I'll either listen to the Art of War or uh, or or some like some some uh, Buddha stuff. I uh I dug into the, uh, what's that? So one of those, yeah, because I I I'm switchy. I'm not really consistent on like my sleep. Like sometimes I put on the Godfather. Sometimes I put on the audio book. Uh, Lately, it's been the Godfather because I, I know they're three hours long, like Godfather one and two. So I put on the first one. So I was like, "All right, that's my first half of sleep." And then I will wake up, turn on the second one. I mean, I know it's time to get up here soon when it start to go off. Uh, but the way of the Superior Man, I've been digging that. 
Uh, you know, um, that one, that book was crazy. Um, I was listening to that and uh, I didn't want to listen to it because I don't, I don't like the, the whole, uh, the whole, uh, what's it called? Like a, like a high class man or, or whatever and like uh, yeah. the male stuff. Like I, I don't really subscribe to a lot of that talk. So right. I was I was skeptical on listening to it, uh, but then the uh, the dude the dude uh, that I listen to all the time the master Ian the master investor uh, recommended mm-hmm. so I gave it a gave it a spin and uh, it, it had a lot of truth in it man and it made me look at myself and what I had going on and how I approached life a little bit. It actually helped me a lot in my relationship and my in uh, being able to communicate better. So hey, that's that's a that's a good one. It's it's a good one. Um, yeah. It definitely makes you focus on yourself and be more accountable and um, what you could do in your day-to-day relationship. So, yeah, that, that was probably a pretty important book uh, for me within like the past six months. So I, I did listen to a good chunk of that. And, yeah. and it had that chapter two when it talked about having uh, strong strong individuals around you and making sure you you got them caught. You had the regular check-ins, call with them, talk about what you're working on and really the hard stuff like you don't want to talk about what you're feeling uneasy about and confident about and just being transparent and uh being being there to support one another so that yeah i was in the midst of reading that when i hit you like man we we need to get back on and start talking on a regular basis so yeah. that that was that was a big one that that's a big I, one that's, that's i'm glad big. you did man because I, I i there's a big there's a big joy in my heart when i talk to you you know, I mean, cause you, I mean, you're my, obviously my brother, but still, man, like, I, it lights me up. Even when, like, when we just talk on, like, a phone call, like, I just FaceTime call come in, I'm like, I get a little giddy, man. I'm like, oh, let's see what this nigga talking about. Because I just know I'm going to at least share a laugh and I get to, you know, but, you, you know, that's love, man. I, and I feel that with a lot of, it's really important, man, that you express that, that, those kind of relationships, man, because, I was telling a friend, I was like, man, you have a very unique individual relationship with every single person you meet. And when you show like sincere appreciation for someone, man, you can just, you vibe off that energy, man. That's why even like the basketball league thing is so important to me, man. Cause like those dudes, I'm playing with those, most of those dudes for like 10, 11 years now. Like, and it's like you, you, you have these people what my dude Jim Rome say? He's like, man, life is worth. Y'all been for a minute together, ten of years. Yeah, yeah, I know how like, that long. Yeah, bro. So it's like, yeah. but those are like some of my favorite because those are people I would go to war. They look at the game, they look at life the same way I do, or take at least the same approach. Like, and I would think that's important, man. And I feel that same way with you. It's like dudes who you would go to war with. Not even just dudes, but women too. It's like, who do you, because everything is war, you know what I'm saying? Love, physical war, mental war, all that. We can get, I ain't trying to get that deep, but on a sense, going there. yeah, it's like, you got to have these people that you really feel genuinely safe enough to go to battle with. And like, you you are one of those people, man. One of those people that come to my mind, my brother. Man. But, uh, you just, I appreciate you, man. Listen to me rant, man, because I know uh, a lot of people don't be want to hear what I... Oh, how you all here? About, yeah, you know, I know. Because <laughs> I know, I, uh, I think a little different, man. And, and, uh, well, we both I, do too, and that's I the thing. spend I spend a lot of time, man. Uh, just just uh, in my head, reading, studying, planning, like you said, trying to take over the world, man. Uh, and I think the future pretty bright, man. Uh, a lot of people just they live so much in the past. And they, uh, think their best days behind them. But they stop trying. So, fuck that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I, and uh, it, it, just, it just blows my mind how people don't believe in themselves, and they just listen to what other people tell them they have to do this or that. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a student, man. I'm a student in so many things, and I study successful people tirelessly, man. And and you just see the same trends. Uh, so, I remember one time. You remember that time I got mad at Danielle in the, in the group chat because he said I I like to argue. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, I remember that. And I was I remember I think about that quite a bit. That was a big moment for me because I was really upset. But but 
she was right. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a very agreeable person. Uh, but I mean, most most successful people aren't. You know. So mm -hmm. uh, it helped, helped me accept who I was and, and realize I'm not disagreeable just to be disagreeable. While well, I'm out here just trying to prove people wrong and playing devil's advocate, I just to survive a, a different opinion. I'm just gonna make it happen. You know, but let it be heard. You know, not right. in a disrespectful way. Uh, I, I'm just not. I'm just not gonna be uh, a flower on the wall. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I texted you what I did that one time when you asked me. You know, you just you know you just need an ear for a minute, and I was like, that's why I said what I said. I was like, man, you know, if you, this is what you do. But at the end of the day, you can only be you. You, at, you know what I'm saying? You can only be who you are, even if that person is to you. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, because I mean, I, I definitely don't take it as a, I take it as a compliment more, more, more than anything now. Uh, you know, because uh, being a, a student of, uh, of like a non -practice, practicing Buddhist, you know, it's a lot of contradictions between my everyday life and wanting more and trying to achieve more and also being content with what you have. So just trying to find that balance um, and having a, a, a strong respect for people who just uh, put keep their head down and work, um, it tend to be a little more me. Uh, but, but the fact that I have that ability to voice my opinion um, while acknowledging people who, who don't just makes makes me appreciate it even more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I think the thing that gets me about people, man, is and when I talk to people, I see this in people at work, man. I see this people just, you know, friends, whatever, man. It's I really enjoy seeing people in their natural element of things they enjoy. Like I got the like it, and it's in it's saddening sometimes because you see like I, you know, even like people at work. Like I got, to, I hung out with a few people at work outside of work, and you can see their natural passions, what they really care about, what they was really important mm -hmm. to them. And you can't really, and like the way our minds work, we know there's a bigger, there's something bigger than our jobs. Like you know, what I mean, there's there's more for us. Yeah. And but you, some, and I'm not saying they they think it's that's just it, but it's like you know they're not even their minds not even wrapped around the possibilities they can do beyond this like it doesn't have to be this this and it's like man but i see oh. like i'll see you i've seen you like I, if you could just take that same love and crack it with this idea and this concept you don't have to just live off this and just only do it when you have time and not but so many people are just unhappy yeah, that's, that's some uh that's something we have in common too there's a couple people in my job where they have uh these hobbies they passionate about and I'll be like hey man you need to get that going fam yeah. I'll buy I'll, I'll buy the domain for you today That's you need a logo I'll, I'll, I'll get you a logo <laughs> you let me know you're ready to go I'll buy the logo I want my 2% but let me let me get that logo for you <laughs> <laughs> but no for real though, like I was it's funny you said because it was a chick I was she made like some we had like a little get together a couple people from work and uh she made she made like this mac and cheese and like baked beans, bro. And like I saw yeah. her from start to finish. And it, I see I seen the path. I like it was like when I was watching We Just Make That Fucking Fresh Toast, truthfully. Like when you yeah. it was a moment like that. Like when yeah. they you know they I be, made I be, be trying to get it going. I be trying to get it going, Master Chef. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> bro, I, I'm sitting there eating, I was like, yo, come sit next to me. Like I gotta talk, let me talk your ear off for a minute. Me, me how's it? You, me how's you? I was yeah. like, I know. You got at least five. You sitting on at least five recipes, at least at least five. I was like, you could easily throw this, what, throw in like a little cookbook, so online. Like, I ain't even saying it gotta bring you a uh, replace your income, but I'm like, what were the what were the extra three hundred dollars a month from just a little cookbook you got online? You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's and, and that's where my head be at. Like, that's you spend all the time. You spend it. So she, I she a, was weird. I got a boy at work. He uh. He uh he's, he uh he platinum like every game he plays. Like like video game? He platinums every year like he get that platinum trophy with all the every single one he plays. Like he he is surgical. Like he 
Like it'll be a hundred dollar game. It'll be like a hundred fifty dollar game. We play for like seventy hours. Like he is surgical. Like he don't even play the game for fun. He just play it for the trophies. He, he, he on, he, he on YouTube or he, he record? Yo, he does. I tell him he does every game, and I'm like, bro, if you just took, if you made a 10 minute video every time you play platinum, put it on YouTube. We, you, you wouldn't have time for us in two years. Bro, no, <laughs> in two and years. I, and here's the in thing: in two years, he would be good. He bro. sent me a picture of like, like his, like his little gaming room. Bro, it looks like see this wall behind me. Imagine this wall and this wall never games. He got the, the room. He got all the equipment. He got the mic. He got the capture card. I'm like, bro, you gotta come over. He, he ain't even recording. He ain't putting on YouTube or nothing. 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 I'm like, you only need ten minutes of footage. Any any talks in his high pitched voice. I'm like, bro, you gonna do numbers. You gonna do numbers. I'm be watching like, it work. Listening to your videos. <laughs> I'm be at my job listening to your yeah. videos. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, come on, man, you bug it. But that's on, like, man. but like, but that, but once again, man, this goes back to like the stuff we put in our brain, though. We always got mm -hmm. like, we're always trying to grow and improve and think of ways. It's a puzzle. Life is a puzzle, man. And like, mm -hmm. the fucking books are like the directions to a puzzle. It's like a cheat code almost. It's like you yeah. got to have ways to think differently and. Even, even like I said, man, what even got me to reading? I, I just remember you telling me, because I always say you, you were the first one to tell me about Rich Dad Poor Dad. Like, I, and like I've seen some other stuff about, but you was the one that really put it in my head that like that made it stick. I was like, oh, right, well, Kev, you know, if Kev said it, then it's gotta be something. Uh, uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> At least I that's how that. that's how I work. Hey, I appreciate that. That's that's nigga. I be spitting. And niggas, niggas do you listen to what I be talking, man. I don't so, be talking for nothing. I like silence. And then once I read that, that just like, yo, it just took off for every. I was like, I gotta get back into reading more because clearly these got they got the answers. Like it's funny because when I, you know, Daniel and Brianna came down uh a couple weeks ago for Daniel's birthday, they was like, Man, you <laughs> you're like like some minute you sound like dad, some minute sometimes you sound like Kev. <laughs> Like, that's funny. Yeah, that's like, funny. Like, I mean, that's funny. That's funny. What you mean? I, I, mean, I still sound like that sometimes too, man. That's, that's, right, that's, that's what, right now. <laughs> and that's, I'm like, that's probably what what mean? Mean, that's literally the, the intertwining of the same time. person. I do show our time, but like, that's some shit that happens. Yeah. Oh, oh, it'd be, it'd, 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 it'd be sick. I'd be yeah, sick. I'd be sick. I'd be like, oh, man, this nigga. Yeah. Yeah, this is my, this is my father. What you mean? But I think when I, when I when I get to spitting to them, they probably say I sound like you. When I get to start spitting that spitting that knowledge, you know, because I be putting it in the uh, air yeah. too, man. I do it a little bit more of a joking yeah. way, but I be put I be yeah, using my yeah. idea in the air, man. I can't help it. Yeah. Help you got to though, man. It, it's I mean, if you got a good word to say, man, this podcast look, this podcast coming back, man. I it's like who's my audience, man? My audience is people who love cool shit. Like valuable information and great conversation, man. That's it, man. That's that's. I'm, there's no more. Like I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna. It's about time for people to just be themselves, man, and do the shit they love to do, man. And that's why I came with this podcast. Like this one. This is my look. I'm coming with every time. This is this is my show. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm, the the glasses and I wasn't prepared for the glasses nor the earrings. I know you were. I know you were. I thought you might have been a little prepared for the earrings. I knew you weren't ready for these. Nah, I, you know this the ain't earrings. even those. <laughs> this ain't no the shade, just getting me. It's them dangles. The it's dangles. dangles. People get fuck me. with the dangles, bro. That is freaky. You done. That's freaky. You gonna, you gonna have you, you gonna have all the woke the freaky woke chicks. Wait, this ain't no This ain't no flex, nigga. These ain't like no expensive hundred dollar shades or nothing, bro. Yeah, they, like they look it. like it. So hey. They look like it, man. The most expensive yeah. thing I got on the most expensive thing I got on find this crown, nigga. They look good. Yeah. They look good. And that's they all that matters, man. Good, it made me feel what do y'all say? What prime time say? Look good, feel good, feel good, play good, play good, yeah. they play good. Shout out shout out shout to Prime Time, man. Shout out big shout out to Prime. Time. Jackson State. Shout out to Jackson State. Big shout out to Jackson State. Prime Prime it. Prime it. Prime it. Yeah, man. You grab grab some of that Hall of Fame. Uh, when you get a chance. When you get
you the chance. I uh, hope they heard me that. Cause I mean, that's that's, we really uh I mean you really gotta show because like, just show me your problem. That's what we need to do. Just show me how you do it and go from there. Yeah, that, I can man. show you what I have. Most most of my stuff I liquidated most of my portfolio. Um so most of it's in cash right now. My my main investment vehicle is my 401k. Um I, I can show I don't mind showing y'all that. Um that's at about it's about thirty five about 35k to 401k and then um i got some real small brokerages but i liquidated them so i got like three with this one called m1 um it, it's called it's really good for dollar cost averaging so what dollar cost averaging is uh probably what you hear the most about is people trying to time the market so buy a price buy it at a certain price and sell it another i mean that, that's not very practical for the average person but you don't got time to watch the market and prices fluctuate and it's really hard to tell when and it's, it's really tar- hard to tell when's the best price so when you're trying to do that as a retail investor with the full-time job you probably gonna lose your money a few times and quit but dollar cost average is so every so every month when you get paid you take a certain amount and you buy some stock the same stock every month so every month you get paid Put a hundred dollars in your brokerage account. Uh, that's dollar cost averaging, and that's that's probably the best way to invest. Uh, if if you uh, if, if you don't want to get started, the uh, the, the dude dollars that you in, he always say uh, two tech two index. So an index fund is is a is a is a is a monitored is a monitored funds of stocks. They usually track either um, uh, an industry. So, uh, a good one, a pretty popular one is QQQ, SPY, uh, that those track, track the S&P 500, um, and the NASDAQ. So those are pretty, those are pretty popular ones and really good. Like the companies you heard of would be really good to invest right now. Like, uh, particularly I think Google, Google is a really good investment right now related to the stock split. Yeah, like it was above a thousand dollars to buy one stock of Google, but recently it just went down to like a hundred and something. So, yeah. and a lot of people don't realize how like monopoly they have a monopoly on Google has a, a, a monopoly on biz, on uh, businesses and consumers. So that they, they that that's a really good price for them. It may go down a little bit when we hit this recession, but I mean a hundred hundred dollars for Google. If you start getting some of that now, um, you'll probably look like a genius in a couple of years. So, um, but, but what M1 does is it does these pies. So you could you could uh, pick the stocks you want and the percentage of the pie you want to be stock. So you say you do a hundred, you just put a hundred dollars into the M1 account. It would it would just buy based off the pie you had. So it's really good for dollar cost average. Um, I also use Weeble. I, I wouldn't recommend people use Weeble um, if, if you're not looking at it all the time. Weeble just has way too much information for the average person. Um, it has a lot of indicators and tools that you wouldn't really need as a as a regular investor. Um, but probably the easiest one, the most common, is like Robinhood. Um, I, I wouldn't suggest Robinhood either because I don't know how long. If they if they're viable long term, um, they they're struggling a little bit since the the meme stock trend. And if we have a real bad recession, I don't know if they'll be able to sustain throughout that. Um, but there, I mean, pretty much all brokerages have free investing. A lot of them do now. Um, I think it's probably to bring an end to that eventually, though. So probably if you want to start looking now. Um, but I mean, if you ever want to look at some stuff, if you have some money put to the side, I think right now would be a good time for anyone to uh, start saving cash uh, because during during the recession, cash is king because everything goes on sale, um, and that would be the time to buy. So uh, that's capital. You don't you want capital now? Put money in your savings. Put money in your savings. Well, it- and that's you just funny, man. You say that because that's what I—I I mean, because you know, once I started working at Chase again, I was able to stack my 
just back my bread back up, man. Because when I wasn't yeah. there, I was pretty much living off my savings and like a little part time job. But like now, I've been at, you know I've been at Chase now what like eight nine months. So I've been I've been able to stack. You know I use my I still been using my I use my ten twenty seventy system. You know <laughs> that's about you know ten in the savings, twenty in the invest investing. And if you want to get real spicy, I mean. <laughs> If you want to get real spicy, I mean, people not talking about it now. Um, it's crypto. Crypto probably now is probably the time to really start diving in if you even care about it at all. Because what, what you what, what I've been noticing um, is that it, it is it's, a, it's the crypto winter they call it. Like everything truly low, but the adoption hasn't really slowed down. You're, the the hedge funds and everyone are, are really buying up a lot of it. And, uh, you see more and more businesses accepting it. Uh, so it it's going to make a, it's going to make a strong comeback. Uh, maybe fifteen to eighteen months. Mm, I mean, that's that's tomorrow, pretty much. Uh, I mean, it will it'll fly by. Uh, maybe a little more. The the Fed probably going to rate high rate uh, increase rates again next week. So, um, between they said between 0.75 and 1 percent, so that's pretty aggressive. Uh, rates, rates really haven't been this high in our working lifetime. Um, and the housing market already is slow, uh, but the prices haven't started to drop yet. The interest rise, which they will. So, um, during recessions, man, them, that's, those are the times to make moves. That's the scariest time because there's so much uncertainty. Um, people will be real nervous, real scared. But I mean, if you're in a position where you got a little capital, you could you could fuck around, get a house. Uh, if you buy the right company, you could make a really good return. Um, so I mean, that, I mean that's 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 when people make make they make their fortune really is during the economic downturns. Yeah, and we the rights on the wall, man. So so obvious. So it's been that way for a while. The thing is, you can't listen to like you can't listen to housing professionals about a, a, a housing crash because they they gotta sell you houses, right? They gotta sell so, you houses. So I mean, they 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 gotta get their paper. So I mean, at the end of the day, um, yeah, it, it, it's uh, it's coming, it, it's coming, and uh, yeah, I mean, if you got any savings, man, keep keep looking. If you if you want to start investing, man, we can we can start looking at stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, man, on some on the real, I mean, I've, I'm just thinking about where we are in life, how what we, you know, as men, you know, mm -hmm. me, you, me, and you, brother to brother, you know, it's like. It's really about that time for niggas to start taking over. Shit. Like, I mean, I, I mean, well, and yeah, this is more in the mentality it's, set, like it's set for yeah. Me. It's like, well, I mean, it start it starts small, you know. Yeah, just about right. planting the seed, watching it grow, right? Um, and just just making smart decisions, you know. Um, yeah. Quit quit buying things at stupid prices. Uh, it's really that simple. Um, Man, the dude at work talking about he spent four hundred dollars on some jeans, and I'm like, bro, there was so many things wrong with that. Because he was having a conversation with another coworker, and she asked, like, I was walking by. She I, asked know, me, like, I know he just doesn't make enough money to buy $400 from Jens. Um, that's just, not gonna, that's not. Yeah, first of all, and, and that, I'm going to tell, tell you exactly what I said. I'm like, she asked me, quick number, I'm like, no. I was like, I was pointing at my jeans, I was like, these were probably about 16 bucks. I was like, I was like, do you realize 400 pair of jeans is 20 hours of this? About 20 hours of this. That's what you do already. Right. That's I'm like, yo, there's, there's no way. We're, That's we're both days of work. Yeah. You, you're not even taking out taxes. Hey, hey, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, do you realize? Like, this That's a week. That's a week of his life on them jeans. And I'm like, there's no way. It's like, it's not. That's a week. That's I'm, a week of his life on them jeans. I'm that's, like, that's, I like these jeans I got on. They feel comfortable. I'm, I'm, I look good. Like, I, I was like, there's no way I would ever do that. No, and no, and and the whole, and that's ridiculous because 
There's so many problems with this. Because COVID, it was a lot of problems with this. I went in on him for a little. I mean, in a nice way, but yeah, I was like, I mean, yo, what I was like, what's he, the threat? But like, I'm like, there's no way they feel better. I, I'm like, yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't want to kill. He wouldn't want to. A gentleman with that salary who wouldn't want to tell me something like that while I'm like Trump, because I would, I would go in. Like who, like who is he talking to? Like who, who is the, who is the women he's courting? Like most of the women he's courting probably don't even know what four hundred dollars jeans are. Like, and we'll be able to respect the fact. And if they do, you can't afford a woman that's wearing four hundred dollars jeans anyway. So you're setting yourself up for failure, my brother. Like that doesn't make yeah, it was, any it sense. It was. It was. I was like, bro, come on. I was like, why does? Yeah. Why would you do that? I was. I'm like, that's not it, man. But, and I don't know. But it was just a conversation. Whatever. You know, I'm, whatever people do, yeah, they that's, want. That's just, insane. Was, I was just like, bro, I was game. like, I learned something, like, bro. You realize that's about. And you wear them to work. I don't even. I didn't even go that. I didn't even go once. I was hard to fight. He wore. He wore. Really, he, he, he wore them to work. I, don't, I would. I wouldn't know. Like, honestly. I oh, you didn't work. it's not someone you worked with. It is someone, but I'm not paying attention to know if he's wearing four hundred dollars jeans. Oh, he didn't, was, like, was, he didn't say like he didn't say. I got all my four hundred dollars. Yeah, he, no, oh, it, wasn't, yeah. it was just like a general conversation. Hey man, and I'm like, what, what kind of jeans were they? You know? I mean, listen, you know I don't care. I didn't. Like, I'm not buying them. I, I don't care what kind That's they were. Crazy. That's <laughs> crazy. Like, it was a no. It's That's a, crazy. It was, as fast as a no about the fancy football league, then your ass. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good on fantasy football. Hey, man. I can't, I can't. Good. Nah. I'm big good on fantasy football. I can't, I can't do that. I Man, it's crazy how football has the America on chokehold, though, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, every, the everyday person it has America on the chokehold. I see it. And that's why I like, I goes back to even talking to you so much, man, because like our, our minds are so. Or I think our where our focus lies is very the same yeah, place. I mean, that's a challenge for me. You know, I play. I spent so much time playing football, mm-hmm. and it's still a, a love for the game there. Um, I know it's up for you. I, I, yeah, yeah. So I mean, if if uh, I feel like I'm the perfect perfect person to talk to you about football because I spent so much time playing it, and I was and I was pretty good at it for a long time. Um, but I mean, it's foul. <laughs> you can't un- it, once it, you can't it, unsee it's what foul. you know now. Like it's like it's the just, way it's just foul, man. Like, I can't, I can't I not, see. I can't see not. I can't not see niggas for less when I. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I can't. I mean, not that's see that's how they that's how they treat niggas, though, man. Like the whole concept of they like the whole life cycle of a football player because of the, the tremendous toll it takes on your body is what three to five years, and at a high level. You, a lot of people's peaks is one to two, and, and you know it, what really gets me the most is how they treat the running back position. So, in that cycle of you work for a contract, then when you have that breakout year, they're like, "Yeah, you got too many miles on you. We're not gonna get a contract now." I'm like, "That's wild to me." <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, and it's like that for running backs and linebackers, which is probably the positions I I care about most. So, because that's yeah, that was your shit. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't get past it. I can't get past it when you when you like when everyone's like, this is probably the best in his position in this league, but his team won't pay him a contract because he got too many miles. I, this is just foul. This is a, this is a foul league. It's a foul system, it's, man. It's a super foul. Yeah. It's a super foul. Um, yeah, and people who say basketball are different. They just don't watch, clearly. I mean, because basketball has its flaws, but I mean. That's about it, though. I mean, we'll see how that C- C- how that contract and those negotiations go, but I, I don't think that's going to go well for players. There you go. Yeah, they can't make bags. I do not think it's going to go well between John Wall and Ben Simmons and what Harden did, even KD. Um, I, I don't think all that's going to go well. I think uh, I think that's, those are going to be major talking points in the new CBA. Um, and I, I 
I hope they can work that out in their favor. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lockout uh, once once they have them negotiations. When, when, when is that? What you you know? What is that? What's that? It's next? coming up. It's coming up. It might be next year or year after. It's it's real soon. Um, Twenty twenty three. Maybe I'm thinking that's it? that's how because I feel like when the last one happened, I did. That's like, going to be that's going to be something. Yeah, I, th- I think that's going to be an aggressive negotiation because the owner, the owner, the owner is definitely fed up, and and that's you know they hang with some of them own football teams too. They hang with football team owners like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, hopefully, uh, George helps in that any way he can. That's why we need more niggas like LeBron. You know, he on his ownership campaign. Oh, real for sure. heavy right now. Championship Real, like, campaign done. It's his, his owner campaign oh, now. Man, he, 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 don't, he really don't care. He, he know what he got, and he knows his options are few. And uh, he on he on to the next the next phase. Oh, for sure. AD a, a, not it, man. AD a, not it. He he got what he wanted out of him. He he got what he needed. He got that ring. He bought the Lakers a ring. He a made man now. Um, hey, he did the bare minimum, but he did it. So <laughs> hey, it's, hey, they just crossed the finish hey, line. Bro. They got, uh, I uh, say it all the time. It ain't gotta be pretty. A ring, a be ring, done. a ring. He and he and he forever are gonna be in them them Laker raft, rafters now with the championship. So yeah. hey, he did his job, man. It ain't gotta be pretty, it's, it's gotta be. It's gotta be done. <laughs> He did his job, so yeah, he. It's a wrap for them, though. It's gonna be a hard year to watch. It's okay, gonna be man. a hard year to watch, man. I don't know if I'm gonna check them out too much. I just hope they sure. they don't be giving up them that young many boys. TV games. You know, yep. the past couple years, man, them young boys are taking a step, and they continue to do that, man. Run Jodis came off of. He he might be a problem. He might be a problem. He's, he got all them young boys with him. They go here, bro. They they got to that stage and they didn't come up big. You know they they got to be hungry. They got to be wanting to get better. Um, yeah, the, the Grizzlies, man. They 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 they, they, they something to watch. I believe. I mean, I've been. Yeah, something to watch. I'm, I'm, I don't know I'm about the roster the other day. Oh, they, they did. I don't know about the, the the Suns, man. If I was the Suns, if I could get anything for CP, I think I would shoot that. Um, if I could get anything for CP, anything. I mean, you know, I'm a Buddy Hill fan. Give me Buddy Hill. Man, you still on that Buddy kick, huh? I want Buddy on a good team, man. I want Buddy on the good. Buddy is the best, best three point shooter in the league. I know Steph. Steph is a better three point shooter, but Steph is a star. Steph is a scorer. Steph, you can facilitate your offense through. If you just want a nigga on your team, it's gonna just, just go from corner to corner, around the perimeter, catch and shoot all day. No other league buddy, better than Buddy. Buddy, your guy. Buddy the one. If, but if Buddy get on a good team, it's gonna be a problem. Where'd you put him right now? Make the difference. I don't want him to go to Lakers. I don't want him to, to get that. I, I, first of that all, let's, 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 I'm gonna say this with let me say this. That right might now. end his career. Hold up. I'm let hoping me say that trade don't go through. That might end his career. Let me say this right now. He might be back in Jamaica <laughs> if he get on the Lakers. At this point. Let me I'm gonna say this right now. So if Frank's hear this. And everybody else, stop sending every player. Stop trying to send every player to the Lakers. Because all the Lakers, always... I don't, I don't want to do that to niggas no more. <laughs> I don't, cause niggas, if you go to the Lakers, you don't get the blame. And I don't want, I don't want it to happen to my nigga, buddy. I was in on it, but I'm off it. No, he's better you off know, in Indiana. You know, you know where, I, you know where I, you know where I think it'd be a nice little piece for him, or a piece for he'd be a nice piece for. Who? I'll say Milwaukee. That's a problem. That's a problem. Milwaukee. That's a problem. That's a problem. Can he play defense? He can't play defense, can he? But they, not the, no, not really. But they got a. They're still can he, good. Can he? 
Can he play defense better than Duncan Robbins? I'm sure. That's wild. I, I make that trade. Square up. Duncan Robinson looked better in Indiana anyway. <laughs> so Duncan Robinson, so uh, Buddy Hill, Buddy Hill to Miami for Duncan Robinson straight up. Like him on the Heat, but the Milwaukee, I mess with that. I mess, I mess with that. But on the Milwaukee though, that's that's probably another ring. That that might be another ring. I like that a lot. That's that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. That a, y'all can't leave him. Even, y'all can't leave him naked. No. Nah. That was, that was off the top of the head too, nigga. I wasn't even. That's that's a good one. That's that's a good. That might be the perfect spot. He might not. He might not be disciplined enough for that culture or something. I don't know, man. Giannis, is like, Giannis, bring him around, man. I believe in Giannis, man. I'm all. Right, I'm all the way in. I'm all the way in on Giannis. Oh uh, man, you ain't you ain't gonna catch me not saying bad, saying nothing bad about Giannis, man. Nah, people, people act. I can't believe people forget what he did in the finals. Bro, yeah. Went two two weeks before his knee bent the wrong way. It's different, bro. We, nigga was like, oh, he done. It's a wrap. <laughs> niggas did think he was done. They thought it was a Niggas yeah. knew. Niggas knew he was done. Like, it wasn't even a question. Like, fuck, he had to tear something. It's done. He gone. He would be like, if he play again, type. That was, that was the, one of them type of industries. Uh, the way he played, we don't know if you'll ever be right. Let me get drive 50 in a closeout game. Closeout. Had the game winning block in one. Had the game winning kind of oop in the other. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. If he that, if all he doing is running and dunking, y'all need to get faster and stronger. That's all I'm saying. That's Back. all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. What? Why don't we all stop him then if that's all? You I want? knew, Come bro, on, I knew man. it was going to be a problem. I was like, yo, this dude, I remember I was like, when he first started Euro dunking on niggas, like when he was this, when he was coming onto the scene, I'm like, yo, he don't even understand what he's doing. And he, he did. Niggas don't even know how to guard. Like, he did. He I'm did. like, he, once he learned how he, oh, now he's, he, and he developed every single year, man. Like, he, you're a problem. I'm all in. Mm-hmm. I think Yas is the best, Yas is the best basketball player in the NBA right now. That's my take. That's um, that's. That's, I that's my like, take. Yeah, I feel like people forget how poorly KD played in the playoffs as well. He did play very. He, he did kind of. He just disappeared. Like really, it was like a very. It didn't look right. Hey, you know, he, KD don't act right when them light skin niggas around. <laughs> is that what it is? God, it's complex, man. You be around. Them. He won it two times. We seen him act out of character. That's all I'm saying. Light skin nigga with good hair come around. Me. He start acting funny. <laughs> hey man, I I know what you're trying to do. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Hey, man, I mean, hey, light skin. Hey, man. I can't speak for every dark skin brother, man. I can't. I can't. I can't defend, can't defend them all, man. Uh, so I'm saying, man. Uh, I'm saying, what's the real reason he left Golden State? <laughs> That's too far. That's too far. That was too far. <laughs> that was too far. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Man. Hey, man, I can't call him. Who, who, who won the ship last year? Golden State, man. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's tough. And they got a lot of light skinned niggas going on. Steph, man. He, yeah, he, he, he was, up. I was in I was I was sitting over there with nigga right, like facing the dirt. I don't know if you peeped though, um, they moved the uh, the times around on ESPN. That nigga that nigga Nick and them got a uh, afternoon slot now. And that nigga, that nigga suits looking real nice. Or you got a little bag. Ah, man, you, I can't be. I don't watch that stuff no more. I got in front, man. I, the, I can't the, the do it. Price, the, the price went up. Yeah, I don't. I don't watch it. Uh, I mean, I probably will when basketball season pick up. I don't really watch that football season. 
I can't even watch the, I mean, I watch the I games, guess. but but I can't watch them talk about it, man. I can't do it, man. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand, man. I fuck with my man, my man Nick, though, man. I think they can spit. He definitely biased. But got him where he at. You know, you got to be loyal to who you loyal to. I mean, I mean, you're right. I'm you not think Wall's got them bonds. You ain't, you ain't going to argue. You ain't going to argue out of me, man. I, I do. It's something out there for everybody. You know? Yeah. And, and that's, you got to do what you got to do to get where you got to go, man. And he got his audience, man. And I'm just not a part of it. ESPN in general is like, I just can't. I, I remember the good old oh, days. Yeah, did you see the clip the other day with this dude, Stephen A? They were like, who's going to score more points? The, the Chargers or the Raiders? And he was like, the Chargers. And they was like, cool. So who's going to win? And he was like, the Raiders. Man, he didn't say that, man. Stop. I'll, I'll send you the clip. Man, he didn't say that, clip. man. I'll send you the clip. My man tied. <laughs> he didn't say I'll, that, man. I'll send you the clip. I'll I wouldn't. I wouldn't even allow Steve like that. I wouldn't allow Steve like that. I swear to God, he said that. I swear to God. I swear to God, he said that, bro. Yeah, he, he tied. Hey man, give that man a break, man. They work. They working my man to the grave. They can take a vacation, man. He just got back, but he ain't stopped working since. I woke, man. That's crazy. He ain't say that yeah. on actual TV, man. All right, bro. I'll find the clip. I got you. Funny clip, man. Oh man, I'm in. I'm inside. That's crazy, man. Uh, well, shit, man. I think this was a uh, was good, man. I, I love talking, like I said, man. I did this. I, I scheduled it. I scheduled it for every other week. Um, yeah. We could do it every month. I, once a month, probably be fine as well. So, um, either yeah, way, is this, a, is this a podcast? Should we start having like a guest or something? I mean, yeah, I mean, we're going to start building this back up, Lauren. I just, I just need to get back in the rhythm, man. I just wanted to get in the rhythm and just get, get some good shit. Get some good conversation out of it, man. But I would I would definitely, yeah, plan to go full throttle, man. Bring some people on. That's a, that's a healthy meal, boy. Love to hear it, man. I'm just trying to live, man. Hey, what are you, man? I'm just trying to live. I'm like, we just keep coming to salad. Man, look it up, man. You looking good, man. Your skin looking good. Your fit looking I'm, fly. I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. man. I'm trying, Ken. Likewise, man. Look at him. Look at him. What you think? Looking like, uh, you look like you hang with Dr. Umar. <laughs> hey, man. I just, I'm just gotta be that person I feel inside, man. I was like, if I'm gonna do my show, this is my show. I gotta come prepared and how I feel, man. I can't wear. I can't dress like this at work. So fuck it. No, man, no, my environment. no, no crown. No, I don't go that. I don't go too. They ain't ready for that. Nah, no, probably not. They're probably a smart decision. But, nah, but don't be, don't be sending don't be sending coworkers nineteen key videos, man. Right? No, nah, because everybody, everybody ain't. I hey, I know who prepared for what. Keys videos. Nah, man. I ain't, I ain't, I don't force feed people, man. I let. That's uh, my information, you know what I'm saying? I was just watching one of his videos before I got on the call, actually. I would, have, I would have thought you would have a couple crypto wallets by now, man. It's all that keys you listening to, man. Keys, keys on. It do be good. It, 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 but here's the thing, man. I I still, yeah, you listen to he's, people, he's people right. for different reasons. No, he's definitely, you know I ain't going to get no, you got the crown. I ain't going to say nothing about it. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Come on, man. I ain't got, it's the guy, man. But it's. I, the thing about 19 Keys, man, I was like, it was just more about the mental aspect and outlook of who you are, man. He's, a, I resonate with him because, you know, you're looking at information and like, oh, that he's spitting like kind of how I feel or how I think. And it, and it's his. I think the biggest thing with me and him, man, it's just like I like that he really speaks to being who you are as a person, man. And that's you know that's my whole mo, man. I like I don't want to. I can't be anybody else, man. So you the, uh, high level conversations. I sometimes the episodes be a little long, but I'll, I'll be seeing him. I watch his YouTube they stuff. So they give like little twenty minute clips and stuff where he just kind of. So I watch that. Um, but not nah. a few of them. I'll be trying to catch him. I saw the one he did with what's my man's name. 
my man. Chakra bar. You see that one? Oh yeah, I didn't see it. I, well, I started it, but I didn't finish it. But uh, I listen to most that one. Chakra be spit. I, I, I've been yeah. following him for a minute. And that's the and that's the thing, man. I, I'm not oh. the one type to go to go force feed. You know these philosophies of people that I listen to on the people. But it's like if a person tell me about something, like you ain't aware of who this person is. I'm kind of like I don't know if I'm being aware of who 19 Keys is. I probably you know. On some degree, by like, ah, uh, is you really about what you're saying? Uh, um, but it's like, a, I listened to another one too. I can't remember the dude name. Brother with dreadlocks. <laughs> I can't remember the dude's name. But they were talking both mostly about food and diet on that one. Um, I've been listening to his other podcast too. Uh, what's his other one called? Not his, but a different. Just another person. I forget the dude's name, but he uh. He resubmitted some shit too. It actually R.I.P. Man to uh, crazy man. Old dude just got shot. Um, was it P? What's his name? P.M.B. P.M.B. Rock. Yeah. Um, That's wild. Because Ros- was it really a ro- chick Roscoe's? Was it really a Roscoe's? The yeah, chick, chicken and Roscoe's, chicken and waffles. Yeah. Well, wow. it, it, I, and I say that obviously, like, really, I mean, it's, it's, wow. yeah, that's it's sickening, man. But it was crazy because they said, like, you know, she dropped her location, and that's where cats, you know, somebody ran up on them there. Yeah, yeah. And in the podcast I was listening to, man, a dude was just talking about that. He's like, man, he's like, man, he, people with these lurkers, man, and this and that, man, you, you like these Instagrammers, you drop a picture, you know, cats just wait for you to mess up. And he was like, he was speaking to that man. And then like, literally, this happened yesterday or uh, yesterday, man. I was like, man, that dude was just talking about that shit. Yeah, people, man, people sick, man. People, uh, people hurt, man. They, they waiting for it to come up, and if they catch you slipping, if you got it. And, yeah, and that's and man, I just thought that was wild, man. I was like, he was just saying that, and is, but he got a good podcast, man. But lo, those podcasts, like him and Keys, man. I go, I listen to dudes like that for like. The, the mental aspect of like my approach to how I really feel about myself and being the real me, man. But I know you be spitting on the crypto stuff hardcore as well too, though. Gets good. Oh man, yeah. following. Yeah. yeah, man, you not you not really down with the with the army, man. Too read your wallet pop, man. You need to quit playing. Go a little off to the side. Start listening to that keys rhetoric, man. Get that gang. Hey yeah, man, you, you, you right, man. Get rich on accident, man. 24 hours in a day, man. So I'll be trying to get check, my check your check your account one day. That shit. Like, nah, this can't be right. Another member of millionaires, B boy. Nothing but love for keys, man. I, and great admiration for that dude, man. Shout out 19 yeah. keys. Man. Shout out to Web Three, man. Yeah. Tokenized assets. So that's the way. I'm trying to get Leah to start making tokens, and selling them. It's time to take over the world, man. We really just got to start doing it, man. That's, that, we, that's it. Plain and simple, man. Day, so, by, day by day, man. It's a, it's a slow process. Day, you know, day, 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 sure. day, the foundation. Then, uh, then it start popping. All right, guys. I appreciate you, man. I love you, guys. All right, man. Bye. 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 Bye.